is Liza, I'm the Arts Manager at Creative Discovery Museum, and today we're in my kitchen and we're going to make a really fast bread called Irish Soda Bread. And I even have my daughter Molly with me today. Hey Molls! Hi! Molly, you want to help me make this bread? Sure! Okay, so this is a really easy recipe and let's talk about what the recipe is. Right now we need two cups of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour, and you'll need one of, one of these. Exactly, that's a measuring cup. So we need one measuring cup. One measuring cup. We need one half teaspoon of salt. You, you can use this, or you, if you have all of these separate, you can use that. Yeah, that's all what you want to do. Absolutely. Then you need one teaspoon of baking soda. You'll need to use this again, yes. or one of these. Yep. And we need one half teaspoon of cream of tartar. You, you can guess. <laughs> and then you need one tablespoon of butter and three fourths cup of uh, buttermilk. All right, are you ready to get started? Yes. All right, let's do this. So, first thing we're gonna do is add our dry ingredients together. So, Mom, let me show them real quick what one cup looks like. Now, Molly, does that look like one cup of flour? No. What's wrong with it? It's, uh, one cup would be right here, and it's over. It is over, it's more than a cup. So we have to level it. Exactly. Now you're probably thinking, what tool do I use to level it? What, what do I need? What do I need to the level it? The tool is right in front of you. What is it? A finger. <gasps> Can you show me how to level? All right. So we first put it over our flour so none of it spills on. Got it. And you put our finger uh -huh. right where it's supposed to be. Yeah. And start leveling it out. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant. And then you end up with an exact measurement, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Because baking, you really need to be precise. Your yes. measurements have to be precise. All right. So there's one. And let's see. Let's see if we got it right. We definitely did not. We did not get that right, so we need to level it off. How about now? Looks good? Yep, it All right, looks you're good. That. Perfect. All right, so we are done with our measuring cup. The rest of the ingredients are going to be with measuring spoons. So we need four. Or one spoon if you have all of these. We need to separate. <laughs> to separate. All right, can you find the half teaspoon for me? One half teaspoon. All right, can I have that for a minute? And we're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. All right. Next, we need a half teaspoon of cream of tartar. So we're going to keep that same measurement. And also, I'll let you kind of be careful. Dig in there. Now, now look at now look at this. Mm -hmm. Just like what we did with the flour, we have to level this out. We sure do. All right. Can so you do that? Level it out. Perfect. Now add that to our container. All right, now our next dry ingredient, we need one teaspoon of, gosh, we've added the salt, and we've added the cream of tartar. We need a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Yeah, so let's get that in there. And you're absolutely right, we need to level. You wanna do that for me? Sure. Oh, brilliant, great job. All right, now, all of our dry ingredients are in our bowl. Mm -hmm. Do you know what our next step is, Molly? What? We get to use this tool. Whisk. Can you show everybody what this is? This is a whisk. You're probably thinking, I have this at my home. It's in a machine that whisks around. But this time, we're going the old fashioned way. We're going to whisk it by hand. All right, let's do it. So first, you do Now you want to be gentle when you start whisking, because yes. what happens if you start whisking really fast? It Flies on your face. It does. You'll get kickback of all the dry ingredients. Yes. We don't want that. So what you want to do is hold it light, but also get a good grip. Okay. And then you start going around, kind of like this way. Just stir. Very now nice. Now you're probably Slow thinking just a little bit. You're probably there thinking you go. your machine goes like this. Mm -hmm. No. Well, some things are better like this, stirring, but some things are better like you know, twisting. Okay. All right. At the same time. Well, I think, okay, let's put that in the graph this real quick. I think we've got a good incorporation here. That's what we want to do. We want to incorporate all of our dry ingredients together so it looks kind of like this. Good job, Molly. All right, so our next thing, this is really fun. You're going to like this, Molly. So we're going to do something called cutting in butter. Do you know what that means? 
Cut, cut the butter. Cut the butter. Do you know what that means? Cut the butter. Well, it does mean cut the butter in a literal sense, but it also means we're going to cut that one tablespoon of butter into smaller pieces, and then we're going to use our fingers and we're gonna rub the butter and the flour mixture together and rub the butter into our flour mixture. So it's, kind of, kind of, so it's kind of like you mix it all together with your hands. Exactly. But before you do this, you should wash your hands. Oh, good point. So we forgot to mention, before you get started cooking, it's always important you wanna wash your hands. Molly and I already washed our hands right before we started. So yeah. we've got clean hands, that's why we- Well, love now we don't have clean hands because we've been leveling. But it's okay, we're still working in the same dish though. So it's okay. All right, so we've got our butter that I cut up into smaller pieces. We're gonna add this to our flour mixture. All right. And, and here comes the fun part. Can I show you what we're gonna do? Sure. With your fingers, you just want to Squeeze this together just like this. You wanna try? Sure. So Molly, why don't you come on over here so we can kind of see. It's so soft. Now you wanna get just a few pieces at a time. You may not wanna do all of it together, but you wanna just, whatever works, whatever method you have that works, we're just gonna find those little lumps of butter and press them it's with our flour. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a flour. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe a flour Butter? Flour butter? Flour butter? Yeah, that sounds like something. Just kind of switch like what we're making here. Flour butter? Butter, butter covered in flour. Butter covered in flour. That's exactly what it is. All right, how are you doing over there? I have, there's still some chunks, but I'm still here. some more chunks? Okay. But hey, you cut a lot of butter. I did. Well, one tablespoon can go a long way. I know, but there's still like little chunks to get through. Now don't get too bogged down, we're trying to get all the little pieces. I think just, I think we've got most of it all. All right, <laughs> take your hands out. All right, so here's the trick. Now our hands are gonna be coated with some flour. So Go over should... the bowl. Well, Molly, over the bowl. Just cut it gently, gently, because we don't want to, remember, we don't want to kick back. Yeah. Just kind of get all that stuff off our hands. And that's good, that's good. We're gonna leave it like this. And it's okay if our hands still have flour on them because we're still working. We're so baking, that's, that's right. a part of baking. That's part of baking. Get messy. Exactly. All right, our last ingredient is three-fourths cup of, do you remember? Milk. Not milk. Oh, uh, buttermilk. Buttermilk. Buttermilk has a little bit more acidity to it. So that's what we're looking for. We want a buttermilk. Now, Molly, did Swiss? you know, well, in just a minute, did you know that if you don't have buttermilk, do you know how you can make buttermilk with regular milk? How? Add a little bit of lemon juice and let the milk set for about 30 minutes outside on the counter and the acid and the lemon juice will work and it'll start to um, do its magic and it'll start to turn into a buttermilk. But how does it do that? It's not butter. It's not butter, but it's the acidity in the milk is what we're looking for. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is we're going to mix this up with a spoon. Well, let me get started. I'm gonna let you take over a little bit because it's going to get it's not going to be sticky it's not going to be sticky it's just going to be kind of chunky it's it's a little chunky that's exactly right it's not going to be a kind of dough that pulls together there you go you try yep oh, you're too hard now just oh, yeah. and i know right see it doesn't really come together it's still kind of chunky and it's going to be dry but this dough is really easy to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, once it's a little bit more, we've kind of incorporated the wet and the dry together, we're gonna take this dough and then we're gonna put it on a baking sheet and you don't have to knead it. All you have to do is just kind of pull the dough together to make a nice round, which is uh, what we call, instead of a loaf of bread, we're gonna make a round like a ball of bread. All right, can I see it for a minute? Just see, I think you did an excellent job. Got that all together. All right, so. And remember, don't go too fast or it'll just splat on your face. <laughs> so, even though our dough is not, it's not connected or it's not, what's the better word than connected? It's not what? All pieced together. If you feel it, it's kind of like pizza dough. It is kind of like pizza dough. So here's what we're gonna do with this dough. Got a baking sheet right here. Baking. We're gonna take it. our dough. Okay, take our dough. We're gonna take our dough. Well, hang on, Molly, let me bring this out real quick. All right, we're gonna take our dough, clean up our workstation a little bit here. Now, this is the cool thing. I'm just gonna pull it together 
like this. And I'm not even kneading it. I'm just pulling the dough together, right? Yep, you can try just yet. Let me get all these little pieces. All right, you wanna try? Yeah. So you don't wanna overwork this dough. It's pretty, just a straightforward, once you dump it on a baking sheet, just pull that dough together. Use your fingers to kind of cup it and make all the little pieces stick together. How's that? Let's oh. get this underside here. It's kind of, it's wanting to come apart. We can make it stay together. Oh, I think that's good. All right, Molly. Here, stand back just a little bit. Let me here. There you go. All right, now, this is what we're looking for. We're not gonna knead it. We're just gonna make this little round. And the last thing we're doing before we put it in the oven is we're gonna do something called score it. Score, score it. it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna make an indentation across the top. All right? It's kind of like a church. It's a cross. Mm -hmm. Spell across the back. All right, now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees. We're gonna let it bake for 10 minutes and then we're gonna turn the oven down to 400 degrees and let it bake for an additional 10 minutes. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven and then come back um, in a few minutes and join us and then we'll see what our bread looks like. All right, thanks. Bye. Remember the bread we were making? Yours should have come out of the oven right now and this is kind of what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Molly's right. So this is the Irish soda bread. It's a really fast bread to make. You don't have to knead it. You just have to kind of ball it up into a ball and then score the top and bake it. And so this is it. So we're going to let this cool for a little bit and then we are going to dig in. All right. Yeah. Thanks guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.